For people watching in the future, please bear in mind today is the 26th of January 2015. This exploit might not work for too long because Nintendo are likely to patch this. If you guys are watching this too far in the future and this doesn't work, it's probably because it has been patched and therefore this video will not be helpful. If there is an updated method of poker genning in a similar fashion, I will release a video saying so. Otherwise guys, hopefully you find this video enjoyable and helpful and I'll see you at the end. Hey guys, it's me the Dolphin Attic and welcome to my tutorial on how to Poke Gen um, in Generation 6 games. That is Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So if you didn't see my video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, um, basically I use lots of stupid Pokemon, e.g. Dragon Ascent Corsola. So if you guys want to know how to do this, then you're in the right place. Um, but it also works for uh, making a Poke Genning um, competitive Pokemon, I tried a Conkelda out, and it worked in a battle against a friend, so I haven't tried Battle Spot, um, but honestly, the way I make it makes it seem legitimate, so I'm hoping it will work. So you guys will have to let me know if it doesn't. Um, I'm very sorry if it doesn't, but I don't really use Battle Spot too much anyway, so... And even if not, you can use these to breed um, Pokemon that you can then um, use on Battle Spot, and my iPad, oh you know what, my iPad can just stay off, off silent, it's fine. So basically I'm on this website here, Project Pokemon, I will leave this link in the description, but here you can see it anyway. Um, you know what, Skype's just going to annoy me, I'm going to have to turn that off. How professional of myself. There you go. Um, and basically this program you want to download is called PK Hex, and I'm sure there's other variants out there of programs that can do this, but I this is the recommended one, this is the one I've learned how to use, and it's quite like um, the original Pokegen and PokeSouth, so it's relatively easy to use. Now, you can see here there's some stuff, like technical stuff here, um, EKX, .EKX you're going to be using and seeing a lot, so keep a note on that. .PKX and .BIN you don't really need to know too much about. Um, and then the download is here, and there's even a tutorial on how to use this, so that might help more than the tutorial I'm going to give you, maybe if you want to like, um, make a event Pokemon, for example, so you can use it online, so it doesn't get caught in like the filter they have on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire now. So, um, yeah, there's a tutorial video, but I am going to show you how to make a competitive Pokemon on it, and then I'll show you how to import it to the game. Um, so this is PK Hex, you want to download this, basically. Um, before you do any of like the adding things to your DS and whatnot, it, it's fine. So this is all you. Need. This is the only piece of software you need, um, and you don't need any hardware to use it either, which is brilliant. Well, actually, you need one little thing, but I'll get onto that later on. But it's not costly, and most computers have it built in anyway. So I'm now going to quickly hop over to my Pokey uh, PKX to show you how to make a Pokemon on this program. But remember, guys, do not ask me for the download link. Come to this for uh, come to this uh, page, which I put in the description. Um, and download PK Hex at the bottom. This is the version I have, so you should be able to do whatever you need to do with it, alright? So I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so we are here now in PK Hex. Now, on the picture you will have seen, um, you would have seen there was a right hand side with like all your boxes. Pretty sure you need to use a save dongle for that, and I know a lot of people don't have a save dongle. This is why this is a really good way of pokegenning. Um, well, it saves you having to buy a, a save dongle. Um, I have one, but I don't know where it is. I've kind of lost it in the, the mess of my desk, so I, I wouldn't know how to poke gen using the box anyway, but I know how to do it one by one, which is how most of you guys are probably going to have to end up doing this anyway, so I'll, that's how I'll show you. Um, so basically, this is PK Hex. It's the left-hand side you would have seen in the picture earlier, and it's really, really, really easy to use. Now, on this next web page, I will show you like uh, after this, there is an example Pokemon to download. Um, you don't really need it, because I'm going to show you how to make a Pokemon from scratch. Now, this is the first time I'm doing it, but I've learned how to do most of the things and stuff from Pokegenning from years of experience. So, you guys will see this. This should work, okay? So, first thing, and <laughs> I know it's not going to be um, very um, encouraging sounding, but yeah it's fine and look here you go Aegislash you can gen a nice gen 6 Pokemon and by the way it gives all these Pokemon a pentagon um, if you leave its original games as Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire X and Y so it does look legitimate which is what you really need to get onto battle spot and stuff so I'm hoping this works now what competitive Pokemon do I need what set do I want I do like an Arcanine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a nice choice banded Arcanine so you can see here that um well, it's nicknames in Japanese. I'm going to change the language to English because I'm English and I'm sure most of you Americans are English as well. Obviously, there are foreigners. Now, here you can choose level. 
You can choose level 100, so this is a really good way of having level 100 battles in the Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But for this, um, for this technique thing, I'm going to do level 50, because that's what most of my battles are at. That's what most of other people's battles are at, so it's easier to figure out what EVs and IVs you need and stuff to get, like, an odd HP number so you don't get hit by Stealth Rocks. In this case, it's really helpful, because we are a fire type, and fire types are weak to rocks. Um, here, well, here you can tick, you have to tick this box if you want to give it a nickname. So, I don't actually like giving my Pokemon nicknames too much, but, um... Let's call this one Fire Doge, because why not? And I'm going to tick Nickname, because um, we want him to be nicknamed. Now, nature-wise, I'm going to pick Adamant, because I want full power on my uh, Arcanine. And you can actually do a held item as well on this. So I'm going to give myself a choice band. So if you just start typing, uh, it comes up with a list, and you pick on that list. Friendship, uh, 255 is the highest, I believe. And this will let you get max um, power return straight away, so that's really helpful. Uh, we've got Intimidate, Flash Fire, and Justified. So Justified could be quite nice if you're going to come in and offer knockoff. But I think on my original one, I use Intimidate, and that's a really nice um, nice ability to have because it lets you have a free switch in with Arcanine. But remember, guys, this is not a competitive, like, telling you how to make an Arcanine. This is just how I like my Arcanines. Language, you can have whatever you want, really. I mean... This can help if you want like a foreign ditto, it can help you breed Chinese in game, but now you have this, you don't really need it. Um, if you want to tick this, it will make the Pokemon an egg and it will hatch into an Arcanine, but I don't want that. Uh, infected, you can make it infected with Pokerus, um, or you can make it cured of Pokerus. Now, I don't actually know what this means, I haven't bothered with any of these. Um, so, you don't really need it because you can uh, modify the EVs and stuff anyway. Uh, the country, I'm going to ch uh, change this to the United Kingdom. I guess you can put it to whatever you want. So say if, if you're Italian, obviously you set this to Italiano. And you change that to Italy. Um, things like that. Sub-region. It doesn't matter, but I pick England because I am from England. And I think the 3DS region might matter. So I'm just going to pick Europe. Um, well, apparently Taiwan, and China, and Korea all have their own individual 3DS region for them. That's very nice. And it changed friendship for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like a default. Maybe I typed it in wrong. I don't know. So that's the main part of this done. If you go to Met now, um, Origin game, I've gone for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because they're the games I play on most. So I'm going to put Omega Ruby. Met location. Now, you can put this to any area in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, basically. Or anywhere in Pokemon X and Y if you select that as your game. Um, but I am, for example, going to pick... What have I used so far? I have used... Or is it? I am nowhere near it. I have used Mount Pyre as mine. So I'm going to set that to Mount Pyre. And you want Met Level to be Level 1. Guys, Level 1. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm making it seem like this was hatched from an egg. Genuinely hatched from an egg. Um, for, as, a, as a Growlithe. So this is how you can give it like egg moves. And I think this might help trick the game think that it's a legitimate Pokemon. So the Met Day, I don't know why it defaults to January 2000. But it's relatively easy to sort of jump through to the right area, so in 2015, January, let's pick the 25th, because let's pretend I'd done this yesterday, this was not a fateful encounter, so I'm not going to tick that, but we did meet this as an egg, and this is very important, guys, you want to set this as daycare helpers, I guess a link trade, bracket egg, could work, but daycare helpers, I've double checked, I had checked an egg that I legitimately hatched in Omega Rune Alpha Sapphire, this is what it says, is the met condition, uh, meeting conditions, so... This is what you want to set it to. I'm also going to set this to um, the same date that the egg hatched. Or I met the Pokemon, which, there you go, uh, is the 25th of January. So this is all you need, basically. Um, you can pick what Pokeball, because obviously balls do uh, get inherited in this game, apart from Master Balls, I think. So I am going to put this guy in a Luxury Ball, because why not? Um, even, I guess, you can, actually, what I'm, what I'm lying about is, not lying, really, um, you can put it in a Master Ball, because you can, you can do anything with Pokegen, but I'm trying to make this look legitimate, so you don't get caught out by anything. Um, so here we run the IVs, but basically you just make this 31 everything, um, to make this look even more legitimate, you could just put a random number in, um, this is also really good for making hidden powers, but as I'm making a physical Arcanine, I, don't, I obviously don't want hidden power. So I'll just give him a special attack IV of 25, because it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to give 31 and everything else, because that does matter. And the EVs. Now, you can see what I was saying about uh, the stats on the right here. It's really helpful that you can do this. 
because obviously Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is uh, level 50 Pokemon battles with friends, um, unless you do uh, three levels and then you'll bring level 100 Pokemon. Um, it's really helpful, you can see. So I obviously, oh, I've moved the screen back, so I didn't mean to do that. I was looking, I wanted to click my recording screen, so now it's probably just moved. Um, we're gonna go and put 252 in attack, we're gonna go put 252 in speed. And where should we put the other one? I don't want to put 4 in HP, because that will make it an even number, and that means Stealth Rocks is bad. Um, I guess I could put it in Defense, just to go along with Intimidate, because why not? And we're back, ma uh, we're at max 508. If you want to make it look even more legitimate, you can put 6, and then it's at max. I don't know what the stars mean. I guess if I put 31 here, will that change to 5? No, I have no idea what the stars mean, so let's put that to 10, because 99. Um, and it also tells you what your hidden power is here, so if you don't, I mean, I always use Psypokes to you, uh, figure out what IVs I need, um, but obviously you can use this as well. You can randomize the IVs and EVs, so this is kind of cool for making an egg, uh, you can do egg locks properly now, you can actually send me eggs properly if you want to make your own custom egg, but you don't need to do that anymore. Well, actually, I'm still in my egg locks, so I guess you could do it this way. You just tick that box and make sure the Pokemon's level 1 here. Um, so back to stat. That stat's done. You can use these down here. Um, I, I wouldn't know too much, but I guess that's a way of making um, Pokemon really good for contests. Here we have the moves. Now, this is really helpful. What am I going to do? I'm going to give this thing Flare Blitz. Uh, PP ups. Give yourself free, and that puts it to max. I want extreme speed, because who doesn't want extreme speed on their Arcanine? Um, what else do I normally have? Uh, close combat, maybe? I can't remember what I normally have. What do I have? Um, I don't know if I would normally have close combat, but for this example we are. And wild charge for them pesky, pesky water types. So we're just going to change all these to free. And here you can, um, you put relearn moves. Now I don't quite know what this does properly yet. But what I've been doing is, and what has been working, is the following. I use Cerebi. I'm not going to show. I'm looking it up on my phone now, because otherwise it will just mess up the recording. I am going to the Pokemon X and Y slash Auras Dex. And I am now going to go fail at finding Arcanine. What number is Arcanine? Pretty sure he's quite high up, isn't he? Um, nope, not that high. I've gone past him. Where is Arcanine? Half the video is going to be me trying to find Arcanine now. Um, I should. He might be quite low down, actually. Yeah, there he is, number fifty-nine. So, what I like to do with the relearn is relearn moves is I try to make them as legitimate as possible. So, if you go on here, it tells you what this uh, level si uh, generation six level up is. Now, you see, you might see moves have a dash where it says level. That means they are the moves that you can um, relearn because that's kind of what they would be born with. But obviously, you can't hatch an Arcanine, so. Arcanine can naturally learn Thunder, Fang, um, Bite, Roar, uh, where's Roar, Roar, and Odor Sleuth. Now let's put Odor Sleuth there. So they're like the four first moves you could go find uh, with the move tutor in Falaba Town in Pokemon Omega Ruby Nova Sapphire and what is it? Dendermill Town is an old lady, I think. It's Dendermill Town, I don't know. Um, and these are the moves that you'd be able to relearn. So I tried to make that as legitimate as possible. And then here it gives you default. I guess that works fine. I used my OT, um, which is Shorty. And I can't remember for my life. I want to say it's 30269 is my trainer ID. Do not ask how I know that, okay? Um... And secret ID doesn't matter, I don't think. This is it's the oh, it tells you your trainer shiny value, which is quite nice. So I know there was that old program, what's it called? Um, that let you trade with people so you could hatch it as shiny. I don't know. Um, ribbons. Oh no, I'm clicking the wrong thing again. If you click ribbons, um, you can click all these now. If you want to have the like where they come out of the pokeball and you get the ribbon flash on the thing, you want to click uh, these ones on the right here. Uh, the Hoenn chat. No, the contest star, contest master. So. For example, I will do that. And Hoenn Champion, well, why not? Um, the other ones, you want to be careful because I used the default and somehow all, like, they had Sinnoh Champion medals, even though I had it set to Born in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which obviously can't happen yet. But you can get the medal for it, so maybe the maybe Sinnoh remakes in the 
well, not too far um, distance, but... Oh, no! I just got a tweet from Josh saying I sent him a faulty zap dose. I didn't send you a faulty zap dose. Well, I hope... I don't know how I did, because, yeah, I didn't, I didn't test it, but... I obviously failed that one. Um, but we've given him, him uh, we've given Arcanine them ribbons. So that's that. Memory slash Ami. You can, um, do the, um, Ami thing. Now, I haven't tried the cells. You might want to look this up somewhere else. I mean, you can change affection to 255, I guess. Um, I don't know what this memory thing means, but, um, it, it's, this is what you can use to get EV to evolve, and you can also get, like, the custom text. It's like Arcanine obeyed its trainer or something instead of Arcanine used. It would say Arcanine obeyed its trainer and used. So that's that. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you want to make... Oh, I forgot to say one thing. If you want to make this Pokemon shiny, you simply click this star here. Um, I like normal Arcanine more, I think. Um, and now I can't get it off. I think you click re-roll and... Oh, uh, that's it. You click re-roll and it takes it off shiny. If you want to change gender, you click the gender thing here. Um, I'm going to click re-roll a few times and that makes the Pokemon ID legitimate on its own. You don't have to worry about that at all, which is pretty handy. So, quickly, just double check that I have made this as... Uh, well, make this correct. It looks like I have. And now I'm happy with that, we're going to go on file and save as. Now, this um, defaults to a PK6 file. Now, this is quite helpful, um, but this is not what you want as your final product. So as you can see, like, I've made all these stupid Pokemon here. What I like to do is, I have presets. Now, I've got a Offensive Sylveon, a Defensive Sylveon, and Tyrantai of Gen here. Um, if you want to save, so I'm just going to save Arcanine as this. This is not what you're going to use in your po uh, to get the Pokemon into the thing. But what it will do is you can open it uh, in this program, and then you can save it as what I'm about to show you, and then you can just sort of... So if you made this, and then you um, made enough Pokemon, then you realised that your Arcanine was incorrect, you could open this and edit it, and it would save you a lot of time. So that's what I do. But this is what you want to do to actually, um, like, make your Pokemon get on the game. Now, I have just made my... Yeah, I don't want you to disappear because I need to see what I'm doing. Um, make sure, guys, this is very, very important. You see the save type here. I told you to look out for that EKX file, remember? Um, do not click that. What you want to do is, and I've realized I can't get it to like, let's do this, there you go. Um, EKX file is what I said it's going to end up as. Do not select that. Do not select bin, select all files. This took me, I looked on this, I'll link the Reddit because it's got lots of Q&As um, or questions on there that have been answered really well. Um, you have to select all files. Now, as you can see, um, Conkle there appeared because he's saved as an EK6 file. Um, which I obviously done, I obviously saved him wrong. That's when I sort of learned what I needed to do. What we're going to do is, as you save it as all files, you're simply going to do this. You go call it P-O-K-E-M-O-N.E-K-X. Simple as that. Now, I have, I'm really OCD about my, these things, so I save them in different places, so it makes it easier for myself. I'm going to click save. As you can see, I already have Pokemon called uh, Pokemon E-K-X. I'm just going to click save. And yes, I'm going to replace it. So Arcanine is now ready to be put onto our game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my uh, DS up so I can show you what to do. And um, yeah, actually no, I won't be. The next bit you'll see is the uh, little uh, program you need to put on your DS. So I'll be back in a second showing you what to do with that. Okay guys, I am here on Project Pokemon again. And this is the actual web page you'll want to use to get the um, one thing or two things. As you can see, there is um, a Hoops this example Pokemon. This I tweeted a picture of it yesterday. It's like a Hooper with hyperspace hole and thousand arrows and explosion and whatnot. So it's a really weird Hooper, but it just it just kind of shows you how it works. So it does actually give you instructions on how to use this here. So if this video isn't helping you, try and use this. I use this to learn how to do this, uh, along with Mooty Pwn's video. By the way, I've got inspiration. Uh, I learned how to do it from her video, so it might be worthwhile checking that out as well if I don't cover anything in this. Um, you'll want to come to this page here. Uh, it's a very long address, so I'll copy and paste that and put that in the um, the description too. So what you want to do is simply this. There's two files on the bottom. You'll want to download code zip. And I saved mine to my desktop. Now, is it going to? It's not going to show you my desktop. So um, I've got this saved as code.bin on my desktop. It 
it downloads it as a zip, you will need to extract it. Now, the first time I extracted it, it didn't work, and I used the normal software that you can extract files with from Windows. I then retried it with um, WinRAR, which made it, which, and it did work afterwards. Um, so you might need WinRAR. 7-zip might also work as well. I haven't tried it. And what you want to do with this is, uh, let me get my, I have not been prepared for this part properly, have I? Let me get my SD card from my old DS, because I've been doing this on my original 3DS, but I'm going to have to do this from fresh on my new 2DS. So actually, I might just show you that. Yeah, let's get my 2DS's uh, SD card. Now, this is where you will need your, um, your... You might need to go buy something to do this. Now, where's there's my SD card. How do I open it on this? I haven't yeah, there you go. Oh, that's cool. It's a lot easier than on 3DS XL. Um, what you want to do is buy an SD card reader. It's either built into your computer slash laptop, which I think a lot of modern computers do have, because SD cards are used very commonly in um, uh, cameras. So they should be quite easy to get. You can probably get them from supermarkets. I'd imagine you can get them in Walmart, but obviously I'm in the UK. Um, but I guess like IT and electronic shops will definitely have them. Um, so what you want to do is download this code .zip, and you are going to copy it to the SD card you use um, on your 3DS. So I'm going to be back in a second because I need to set up XSplit to actually record this. Um, next bit so I'll be back in a second okay guys I'm on my desktop and you are seeing XSplit Inception to the max right now look how many there are look at my mouse Whee! anyway that's not why you're here um, basically what I have now done is I have plugged my SD card in with my SD card reader and this is what it says you've got Nintendo 3DS and all sorts of funny folders that you do not want to touch do not go in there. You you do not need to. You do not need to put yourself at risk in any way at all. So, um, I am on my very messy desktop here. And as you can see, I have that code.bin here extracted to my desktop. I also have Pokemon EKX. Now, this I can delete because that is the um, Hooper example one that they have on uh, that, that website I just showed you. So, I have got my... Uh, whatever this is, my SD card for my 3DS. I am going to copy and paste straight into the root of the SD card. Do not put it in the Nintendo 3DS card, okay? Once you've got that done, you also need to copy the Pokemon.ekx file. Now this here, this Pokemon EKX is, and I don't know what this is by the way, my computer just automatically does this. Um, you want to copy this into this folder too. And that is it. That's all you need to do. That's all you need, like, with your SD card, your computer. Once that's done, you can just close it down. And to be safe, just to avoid, um, to avoid any potential scares for, like, corrupting data, just click eject and it says it's safely available to remove the software. So, um, I'll let you go back to Twitch Inception. I'm going to take that out and I'm now going to quickly set up my 2DS so I can show you guys what you need to do on game. Um, I would also like to point out this should work with, um, it definitely works with cartridge uh, Pokemon games. Not sure about um, downloaded ones, but I think it should work still. I think it does it on like whatever program's running at the time. So hopefully this does work, but this is where it, um, like the technical bit comes in. So it's still easy, so don't worry about that. So I'll see you in a second when my 3DS uh, is on. Okay guys, I'm here with my 3DS. Now, First things first, you will simply want to load up uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon X, or Pokemon Y as normal. Um, by putting these files on the SD card, by the way, you will not see anything different with your 3DS. It will not be apparent that they're even on there. So don't worry about that. Now, let's just watch these beautifies and skitties. And let the screen load up and whatnot. And I'm just going to go to the nearest Pokemon Center, because you don't have to be in a Pokemon Center, but it helps. Am I in the Pokemon Center? I'm not entirely sure. No, I'm not. I'm still here from when I recorded my stupid video uh, a second ago. So we're going to go inside here, and we're going to just check our PC first, because what you will want to do is you will want to uh, move any Pokemon you have from Box 1. Uh, not Box 1, sorry. Box 1, Slot 1. And I'm not recording my bottom screen, am I? So let me quickly just um, 
add that config, separate lower screen, add you, where are you game capture, that one, there you go, and I want to make that a bit less like that, and I'll minimize that into that corner there, so as you can see, box one, slot one is uh, empty, so you want to come out of your PC, and just stand outside it, right, without saving or anything like that, you simply click home. Now, you need to be connected to the internet, so I'll wait for that, there you go. You need to be connected to the internet to do this, guys. Um, I'm going to go on my internet browser. So this doesn't close your game, it's just running in the background still. And as you can see, it says it's loading. Welcome to the internet browser. I, this is obviously the first time I've been on it on my 2DS, so it's just going to tell me how to do this. You might get this as well. Google is my... Conf you don't need the search engine, so it doesn't really matter. I hope you're right, you're ready to get started. Sweet. So, in this case, I will not need to do it. Because this is the first time I've used the internet browser, but I don't know if you need to do it every time, but I do it every time and it works. You will want to, to click delete history and delete cookies, and there you can see my lovely internet connection, but you cannot see my password. <laughs> um, you'll want to click these to delete them. Uh, don't ask me why that works, but it just does. So what, this is very important guys, this is the important bit. You want to click URL, you do not want to search, and you will want to type in load code dot project pokemon dot org that's very very important that you spell this right and you click confirm now it should try and load a page basically and you'll get failed to load part of this page this is what you want any second now it will crash the web the web browser will crash exactly like this an error has occurred Please save your data in any software currently in use, then restart the system. If you click OK, it doesn't restart the system on its own. So you then go back into the game yourself. And if you look in slot 1 of your PC, you have a lovely Arc9. And I forgot to tick the nickname for Fire Doge, apparently. Oh, I could have sworn I'd done it, but okay. Maybe that's just a bug with the program. Maybe you can't nickname it. But, as you can see, I have a Choice Band, Intimidate, Adamant Arc9, in a Cherish Ball... Let's check the summary out. As you can see there, we have Intimidate. All our stats are what I set them to. Um, I didn't set any of that. Adamant, it ha where in Map, uh, Mount Pyre, it hatched. And uh, it came from the daycare helpers. So there you can see this Arcanine is looking pretty snazzy. It has got all the ribbons here. And if I take it out of the PC, nothing stupid happens like it disappearing. There is my explosion Caterpie, as you all <laughs> as you will have seen in the last video. Um, let's quickly just hop out of the PC and run into some grass, shall we? I've got so many 3DS screens on my computer right now, it's just, like, weird. I can see it happening three times. Um, let's go into the grass, and as you can see, this this Arcanine is perfectly normal. Um, as this is set up the same way as my, um, what is it? Oh, there you go, there's the ribbons that, see, look, if you put the ribbons on that I got, you get that cool little animation. Um, and... If you just flare blitz, it's just going to kill this Zigzagoon, poor Zigzagoon. You are my scientific experimental Pokemon. But, yeah, that's... I mean, it doesn't disappear. It doesn't, like, transform into Missing Go or anything. Um, I can even show you my Conkle there that I put on. Um, as proof that they live, they stay around. I've made a few Pokemon, actually, that are really helpful. And there's no issues with making it shiny either, like I showed you. All you have to do is click that button. It's that simple. Because I have made myself a shiny Sylveon with it. What else have I made? Um, you can make you can make hack Pokemon. As you can see, I have got Shadow Force, Bidoof, and Roar of Time, at Wormpool. So if you want some fun doing that, be my guest. What else have I got? Um, Dig Swallow, Dive Camerupt, Dragon Ascent, Corsola, Fly Dog Trio, Bubble Beam, Geodude. Uh, no, wait, that's my normal thing. This box is just full of Pokemon that I either need to, like, gen, or need to, like, or I use, like, to get around and stuff, and I'm an in-game team. Um, what did I make? What have I made? I have made the following. Uh, I've made a shiny pixie lake. You can use hidden ability as well, guys. I didn't say that earlier. You can use hidden ability as an option. So if there's a really elusive, like, maybe contrary, superior, and reckless, um, what's it called? The big fat pig. Um, you can make them with this. Um, I made this conkel though with it. I made level 100 though. And as you can, as I'll show you quickly, um, it has got all of the ribbons, which isn't exactly the best um, thing to do because it does quite clearly show it's hacked. 
But if you start from scratch, like I showed you, you won't get all of them. It's fine. Um, what else did I make? I'm pretty sure I made myself uh, this Sylveon here, my defensive Sylveon. And I made myself a Titar. So, that's basically it, guys. That is my idiot's guide. Hopefully, I've covered everything I think you'll need. Um, I mean, if there's questions that haven't been asked in this video, I will try my hardest to answer them. If not, I will either direct you to the link or I'll experiment, hopefully, if it's like in best interest of myself. I know it sounds selfish, but um, I'll also leave a link to a Reddit page, which is really good, which I think I've already mentioned. Um, ha helped me out with um, how to save Pokemon correctly so it actually works. Um, what else? If if I have answered the question in this video, I will not answer it, guys. I will, I will not answer your question. You have to watch the video. Because um, otherwise I'll just be repeating myself and it, it gets really tedious and boring. But I think I've done enough to hopefully show you how to do this quite simply. Um, and as you can see, guys, you don't really need anything special to do this. So, guys, if you really did, if you found this helpful, um, please leave a like. Cause I put a lot of effort into this. Actually, it's taking longer than I thought, and it's oh my god, it's taking me forty five minutes to do this, and I haven't eaten yet. And it's ten to eight, so I need to go cook dinner. Um, yeah, guys, if you found this useful, a like would be great, uh, greatly appreciated. If this is the first time you've seen any videos from me. I don't normally do tutorials, so I'm sorry if it's a bit rubbish. But um, a subscription would be really appreciated because I do do wife battles and stuff as well. Um, and follow me on Twitter below as well. Other than that, guys, I can't think of much else to say. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.